looking pretty nice today. It is, and we've been talking about this for the last week that we'd probably have a few of those uh, heating of the day clouds, and that's how it stands right now. So the eclipse should uh, go off without a hitch. It may be blocked from time to time with those passing clouds, but you'll see the show this afternoon as just a few of those clouds bubble up. A few passing clouds out there now. Satellite and radar, though, showing just, uh, again, a few of those clouds trying to stream in. Otherwise, we are in the clear right now. Lots of sunshine heading our way. That's going to help to heat us up big time. Dan, we'll be back in school for a little bit. Temperatures now around 90 degrees later this afternoon. Again, we're going to keep mainly sunny skies. Just a few clouds bubbling up in the afternoon, but certainly another hot afternoon. Cooler days are coming, though, by the end of the seven day forecast. We are tracking the skies. Of course, big day with the eclipse. Looking towards 2.30, getting close to peak eclipse time for the region. Again, a few bubbling clouds later this afternoon. I do think future tracker over doing the coverage of these showers you see popping up. I think there will be a couple around, but I don't think that widespread through the evening. A stray shower or thunderstorm still with us. If we're taking dinner on the patio tonight, I still think most of us are in the clear tonight. When the sun goes down, we lose those storm and shower chances. We start things off mostly sunny tomorrow morning before we do it all again. Another very hot day with temperatures getting back into the 90s. All right, if you're doing traveling, Jeff mentioned it. Tennessee, one of the best places in the country to see the eclipse. And one of the reasons for that is because of the lack of cloud cover. They'll likely bubble up a few clouds of their own. But again, that path of totality and Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich in that path. Again, we are in the green in Nashville, Central Tennessee. More clouds expected in totality around the Columbia, South Carolina area. For us, again, also in the green across much of Southwest and Central Virginia, as we will just have a few of those uh, heating of the day clouds maybe passing in front of the sun from time to time. Staying hot tomorrow, temperatures back in the lower 90s, mid 80s on Wednesday. That's when our cold front comes through and look what happens. I like to call this the best of both worlds seven day forecast. If you're a summer fan today and tomorrow your day if you're in the middle Wednesday your day if you like some showers and then there we go feeling more like uh, fall if you will as we head towards mm. the back half 